Hey, just a quick demo on how to install cross nut and rivet nuts. Uh, I'll be using the Astro 1450. Uh, it's a tool designed for cross nuts specifically, uh, but it can do a uh, rivet nut as well. Um, it comes with a bunch of different mandrel, uh, so you can install pretty any type of a uh, cross nut or rivet nut, metric or imperial. Um, it's fairly easy and quick to change the mandrel. All you have to do is to remove the cover here. Uh, depress the retainer, unscrew the mandrel, then install the mandrel type you need, release the retainer, install the cover, and that's it. Okay, let's start with the rivet nut. Uh, the first thing I want to do is to open the arms where I want them to be. Uh, be aware that if you go all the way open like that, the mechanical advantage is pretty poor. Uh, and it's going to be much harder to initiate the uh, installation as if you start let's say, like that, you've got a better leverage and a better grip on the tool, so it's going to be much easier to, uh, to start. All right, first thing I'm doing is I pre-install the rivet nut onto the mandrel all the way down. And I'm going to go ahead and put the rivet Now I'm going to do that second time. Now, same idea for the crust nut, except I um, highly recommend using a tooth lock washer with the crust nut. And what it's going to do is it's going to make sure that the crust nut sits flush and straight uh, into the hole, into the mating surface and it's gonna prevent it from spinning when you try to torque a fastener into it. So highly recommend using a tooth that wash. That's it. 